shit. Oh. No, we don't need a pay for this one. Oh. Oh, that was good.
Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Today we celebrate All Saints Day, and as you can see, some of our St. Louis School students are here representing their favorite saints. You can ask them who they are, who they are, and they can be. Reading scripture today is a passage you have on page 84, the subtle journals that are celebrating this class. And our guide for you this morning is number 771 in the handbook.
Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Spoke up and said to me, 
Who are these wearing white robes and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world did not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. The word of the Lord.
When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. There was once a very unhappy man. He hated his own relatives, parents, brothers and sisters at all. He doesn't want to see his neighbors. Every time he goes to work, he is always frowning because he doesn't like to see them, his co-workers at work. Most of all, he is so unsatisfied with his own life. So one day he said, I will serve the devil if I can just get all the things that I want in the world. So he said he wished that he will win the one billion lotto ticket. After a day, somebody knocks at his door. Lo and behold, there was a messenger. And the messenger <coughs> held a letter and said, this is for you. He opened the letter and inside the letter was the newspaper that was one week ahead of time. Can you imagine that? A newspaper one week ahead of time. So immediately he opened it, turned the pages. Where did he go? Check. Check. What number will win the one billion Lara ticket? And there it was. The magic numbers for the one billion Lara ticket. So he said, now, now, I'm going to be very, very rich. And everybody will listen to me, follow all the words that I say. And as he was thinking and planning all the things that he would like to do with his winnings, he was flipping the pages, and lo and behold, his heart fell. Because in the same Newspaper that tells who won that one billion dollar ticket in the orbitary section was his name, and it says, Mr. So and so died after winning the lot. Sometimes so sad. Our hearts are so distant to other people. We're always dreaming of this and that to happen in our lives, and there is emptiness in our heart. Things, and let me remind you, things that all the saints that paraded here in front of us had. 
when they haven't changed their lives yet. When Jesus didn't come to them and make them know who he is. The sadness in their lives, they were wishing this and that, they wanted to be popular, they wanted to be rich, they wanted to be powerful. Until this Jesus came to their lives. And so the readings of today makes a lot of sense because the gospel tells us what makes us happy in our lives. We sometimes seek so far and distant to find what will make us happy. Oh, if only I can go abroad, I'll be very happy. If only I can do this, I can do that, I'll be happy. If only I can marry the most handsome, the most beautiful person, I will be happy. Forgetting the people who are close to them and the people who love them. And the Gospel says to us today, Blessed are you, poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is yours. See, the humility that we have in our hearts brings us to heaven. What else do you need? One billion can come and go. But a lot of people forget that our last destination is not here on earth. Sorry, you didn't buy a ticket to stay here on earth. Nobody stays behind. This is not our final destination. And some people build their kingdom thinking that they will stay here forever. Blessed are they who mourn, those who know the pain of others. You know when you can console somebody else and they begin to lighten up? The joy that you see in their eyes becomes your joy too. And nobody can take that away from you. Blessed are the meek. For they will inherit the land. The land that produces not only for ourselves, but it produces bountiful harvests that we may share to everybody. And that it's not just us who becomes happy, but everyone becomes happy and satisfied. Blessed are they who are clean of heart. Those whose life interest is for other people to grow, to make themselves better. That I will be the person who will allow this person to reach God. Then I will say you are the most successful person on earth. Because the job that you have taken have brought something that no one can take. You have brought somebody's spirit to God. They begin to know who God is. As this gospel always say, there is one joy in heaven for one that converts. You bring one, then you are the most successful person on earth. And this is the gospel that allows us to see that the joys, the happiness that we are looking for is just right there before us. May the invitation that the saints receive wholeheartedly in their heart becomes the same invitation that we have. That we bring ourselves in the presence of God, serve Him with no other 
challenge in our heart, but to say, Lord, I am doing this because I love you. And that becomes our motives in our lives. And happy are you today. You have reached what you have hoped for in your life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. now offer the prayers, the intentions, the needs that we have in our hearts, ourselves, our families, our communities, and ask the Lord to grant us the strength to follow Jesus. Church, accept God's call to ye heroic sanctity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our that land splash with the blood of Marty be fully converted to Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our that living saints in every nation work to manifest God's kingdom on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. That this community grows in homes through faithfulness, adherence to the Beatitudes. Let us pray to the Lord. For the intentions of this Mass, especially Peter J. Lawrence, John Luciano, and Cecilia Kim, Lily and George Brink, Kathleen Ann Gascon, Candido and Sofia Gascon family, and Juanita J. Jimenez. Let us pray to the Lord. Gracious and loving God, we offer you our prayers. Continue to make us your family, your community, that surround that gathers around your altar, and celebrates your blessings. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, 
so we may experience their concern for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Give up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten as pilgrims of advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the church to whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so, we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. So that when the rising of the sun to the setting of your sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At his command, we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, when we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain the inheritance of your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Padre Pio, Saint Hilary, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, 
with your servant Francis, our Pope and Blaise, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The love and the peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. Let us offer each other this sign of peace.
if you have some relatives or brothers and sisters who are not able to come and join us in this Mass today, uh, invite them. There is still is another Mass tonight at 7 p.m. Tomorrow we are going to remember our loved ones, our dead. Now, if you have pictures of this deceased brothers and sisters, you can bring them here in church and we can put them here and we can pray for them here in church. It will be our uh, time to remember our departed brothers and sisters. And so tomorrow, November the 2nd, the Mass will be at 8.30 in the morning and at 7 p.m. in the evening. Again, 8.30 and 7 in the evening. So please uh, schedule times to remember our departed brothers and sisters. Thank you. Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table the banquet of our heavenly homeland, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go and share the blessings you have received. Amen. Amen.